Welcome to the Smashcast, your favorite source of all Smash-related news. I'm Senseless, and today I have with me... I'm Supernomics. I'm Preacher Dude Rocks. I'm Nico Mar. I'm Solus Shadow. And today we're going to be talking about kind of a hot topic, and that's the Gamatsu leaks that have been going around. I'm sure mo most of you guys know a lot about this now. But let's kind of recap and start chronologically about how these started. Mm -hmm. And okay. it takes us, yeah, it takes us back pretty much to E3 of last year. I think yeah, it was uh, a few hours before. before, yeah, the day before or a few hours before the E3 direct. Yeah, and at that time, all forums were crazy guessing characters that were going to get announced. Of but there was one guy that had just. At the time, he called it a prediction, and of course, when he said it, a lot of people overlooked it. But among these characters were the villager, right? The Wii Fit trainer, and Mega Man. Mm -hmm. And of course, immediately after he said that, then they got announced. And going back, no one called the freaking Wii Fit trainer. I mean, I tried going through lists. I after. did. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, so super the only other person. But yeah, so he got three of those characters right, and among them he also predict predicted with quotations. Little Mac, mm -hmm. me, and Pac-Man. And of course, Little Mac has been confirmed, thus helping his point even more. Mm -hmm. However, what kind of um sparks a lot of debate here, yeah, what offsets it, um he apparently said that he was tipped off by someone. And that all six of those characters would be revealed at the E3 event last year. Mm -hmm. However, yeah. only, we only got the three that I mentioned beforehand and that we know we already have. But later on, we did get Little Mac. Yeah, so but... right now, of this original leak, we still have uh, me and Pac-Man still unconfirmed. Right. Mm -hmm. which... I think that uh, Sal Romano even stated that he messaged the guy about like why we didn't get all six revealed. And he never responded. Ooh. But then, Sauce. like he sent, like later on, you know, we got the second part. But we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. So, just kind of my general idea behind it. I mean, the we uh, we fit trainer reveal. She was kind of out of nowhere. She mm -hmm. wasn't part of the main uh, event, the main um, direct, mm -hmm. and she was just kind of yeah. on the show floor. And that kind of makes us wonder, were the rest of them initially intended to be shown? Or do you think that the feedback was large enough that they were satisfied with just the three? Hmm. Uh, just going off like a judgment standpoint from, I guess, like, you know, just how you advertise the game. I don't think they would reveal all six of those in like one go. Like Pac-Man and Mega Man yeah. at the same time seems like <laughs> overwhelming. Yeah. But I've got oh, it now, the thing that's kind of the transition between this that kind of threw people off was Rosalina getting announced, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. especially like before other characters, you know. Yeah, because I remember everybody saying, "Oh, this league is real," and these are the only six newcomers. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a that's... weird accusation. Yeah, but then we got Rosalina. However, that we've already seen that. With uh, the recent announcement of Greninja, which we're going to get into that later, but there are more characters than this initial six that he listed. And was his source, did they just kind of provide us with only six intentionally? I mean, maybe they knew that these six were related to E3 and they wanted to only announce them at this time. Or do you think that the person who tipped him off only knew of those six at that point? I don't, um, so, it's so, a really weird situation, wait, you know. Wait, just to clarify, what did he say, or what characters did he say would be announced for E3? He said, okay, he said the Animal Crossing guy, which we got known as the Villager, mm -hmm. Mega Man, Wii Fit Trainer, mm -hmm. Little yeah. Mac, me, mm -hmm. and Pac-Man. Okay. Yeah, so, but... Um, uh. It is still kind of weird that, like, I still think it's kind of weird that he said Animal Crossing guy, even though, like, I guess it wasn't technically clarified that he was the villager, even though 
people like still call them that but see what kind of sparks that for me there there's either two um scenarios i can think of it the leaker saw japanese footage of the game and he doesn't speak japanese and he recognized the character from animal crossing but he didn't know what name they used Oops. or he just saw screenshots that didn't display his name in any way whatsoever and he figured, okay, hey, that's the Animal Crossing guy. And of course, there's Mega Man, and he saw the Wii Fit Trainer, and I guess he could have just dubbed her the Wii Fit Trainer at that point. Right. Um, yeah, but I mean, like, the thing to me is, like, would you have thought of this differently if it was Tom Nook that was revealed? I, I think mm. so. I, I think so, yeah. If Tom Nook, because Animal Crossing guy is very specific compared to... Tom yeah. Nook, or I mean, yeah, I think if, they would have probably. If he, had, if he had said Animal Crossing character, that could mean anything. But Animal Crossing guy kind of implies villager. Maybe, yeah. but it's it's like the Pokemon from X and Y thing in the second part. Yeah, which yeah, mm -hmm. um, we we can move to that part now. Well, which well, actually, oh, I wanted to say something before moving on. Which okay. Is that, like if we were, um, if we have enough faith to believe, at least the very first basic point which is that this guy was in fact told some insider information if we can like believe that much um i think it's like safe to like also trust like any like trust regardless of any like like counterpoints like for example people as we've mentioned seem to not want to believe this because of how like rosalina came up out of nowhere or how some of the characters were in fact not revealed in e3 but i think mm -hmm. but i think that if we already received information from a dude who called one of the characters animal crossing guy then we know this dude isn't like he, he he's not like completely like sure of what he's talking about like he has the information but like he he could have just called yeah. only snippets and of information i mean we are getting this from a source from a source basically yeah yeah so we have no idea like how information was misconstrued yeah, if it like was a, at all it's like a game of telephone and in, in fact yeah. we don't even know if his source has even more sources behind yeah. him. yeah yeah and, and at this point like I, I and or trying, like like but and, like also what if sal romano just did it <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's an infinite chain of sources, and one of them, one of them, may even be one of us. What if the very last one was Sakurai? It's probably Pick, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> don't blame Pick for this. What did Pick do to you? He he's never around. Okay. I don't trust him. Okay. He is the leaker. He's out right now leaking stuff. The only thing <laughs> I wanted to say before we, uh, another thing I wanted to say before we move on is that. It would have been interesting to see, like, if, for example, Lil Mac was wasn't announced yet, and that the fact that he mentioned all those characters being announced for E3 was just all the people that Nintendo knew within, you know, HQ that they would announce at a E3. Because what if we have Mickey <laughs> and Pac-Man at this E3, and that you know the fact that they weren't at the last one isn't exactly like an error. Rather just well, like a specific that, thing. That's not necessarily the case because we did get Meg, uh, Little Mac during a direct and not E3. Right, that's yeah. what I said. Yeah. If he were never announced, that would have been interesting. Well, then I your mean, point is just <laughs> wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there could always be the assumption that like those were characters that could have been at E3. You know, like they could have traded out Mega Man for Pac Man. They could have done one of those things like that. But then there's always the fact of then like why weren't they revealed sooner like why was the little mac like almost immediately revealed if like his trailer and stuff was ready did he right. ever specifically say that they were meant to be revealed at e3 well, that's well, what i'm pretty sure yeah. that's the kind of information we were relayed well even like, though like sal himself just said my predictions like i think uh his source had said that they were for e3 well if that's the case then the tra the trailers must have been changed then because we do see characters revealed later on in some of the new character trailers such as charizard being in grenade or not well not going that's not going to just um mm -hmm. but, you know we do see uh you know ddd and little max yeah and yeah i mean that is true because it's like they he couldn't have been playing for earlier unless they like changed the gameplay and like why would yeah. they save it for all that time later if you know he was his trailer was ready and him as a character was ready 
what if at, at like wherever they're planning or they have planned the announcements they just like categor categorize some of the newcomers into like like potentially where they could be announced or when and what if like the dude who who is this guy's source just just saw that like, all those characters were under like an E3 category and because of that our uh, this guy with the Gamatsu League he says his predictions are that they would be for E3 but he's just you know misinterpreting what he was told you know hmm. yeah it could, it be, could be possible yeah yeah we don't know for sure so uh since you want to move to that second part well, actually, before we do, let's kind of just make sure um, we're on the same page here. First of all, let's let's put the leak aside. What do you think the chances after the recent direct of me and Pac-Man getting in? I feel like Pac-Man does have a very significant chance at this point. And well, I mean, not, not to discredit me, I feel like they are less likely than Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. But not out of the question. See, there, there's two things for me. Um, one, first of all, in the direct, when we saw the Find Me stage, we saw the Mies in the cage. But when the stage officially got announced, we saw the stage um, with the cage. Without, yeah, with, with without the, the Mies. Yeah. So, do we have a Toon Link scenario here where if you play as the Mie, the me's not in the state you're in the cage and that's kind of a big uh hit for me that would make me assume that they're playable but i the, don't know I, like it could just be like a stage related thing like maybe over time like he breaks out or something like that that's that's what i feel and i feel like with me's that's even like less probable the whole alfonso replacement thing because yeah like, who is really going to be worried about me's like being exactly the same time? and also <laughs> yeah because since you know the, since the me's would probably be like randomly generated who says they just can't have another me you know the problem yeah. is with that i don't think they will be randomly generated because in the actual find me game the king me that is caged own. is your own unique me well, and yeah. i i think that I think that even if me's not playable, that me in the cage is going to be based off of your profile that you're using, and that. Yeah, me. that was my original assumption about that stage. Like it would just take your me data, and then it would put your but, me in but, there. But, but what if you're playing as your, your personal me? But then, like, if me were playable, yeah, it would just take a random me or just another me from your system. What if we're yeah. playing as guest A though? What if that's me? Yeah, yeah what take if you don't your have me. What if we don't have a, a personal me and we just use the guests? Be a random, random other are, one. I mean, it's there, not that complicated. Are there even guests? Are there even guest me's on the 3DS? Yeah. Oh, neat. Anyway. Well, uh, I was yeah. gonna say my stance on what you two talked about. I think, I think as well, Pac-Man is more likely than me's because at this point, I mean, like. Whether I'm fine with them or not is irrelevant, but me's just aren't a priority, I imagine. Like, because they're not really as unique as, you know, Pac-Man could be, or any or any character <laughs> at this point, you know? Yeah. Well, um, I still feel like me's could be very unique with all, like, sports equipment and random stuff that they use. I'm not talking about their moves, I just mean, like, the concept in general. Like, oh. Give well, them, give them uh, like, a baseball bat, and they can, like, blow out people's knees. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he'd probably the me is probably going to be more memes. interesting than Mario. I'm like, probably going to like if if me's playable, I'm just going to play as a mafia man. Yeah, <laughs> I mean like the concept of me's being in the game is kind of weird, but I mean we still don't know if it would be like they're a clone of another character, kind of like Soul Calibur style, where you have to pick like certain like play styles that they would like basically copy or if they oh, just have their own that, was, that wouldn't work though because there are characters with really weird bodies yeah, i know but i'm just saying like they specify certain ones depending yeah, like they like only the, limit like you the alloys you know how they have... yeah yeah that actually is a decent idea well but like the, the alloys their body shape changes depending on which one they're replicating though so yeah no, but I'm there's only saying, a like, few it's yeah. not like your me can just be a head with legs and hands no, they would they would make it so that you can only pick like human body shapes like a Ness or a Lucas or and also, Mario. It would, it, would, it would be pretty weird to see a a me swallow another person and yeah. ride a motorcycle and then have the Mario web. Could could the alloys do that though? 
No. I, I don't believe no. so. So no, I, I think they would just give it some other thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, who knows? That's kind of weird at that point. I would, I would just hope they have their own moveset because that, to me, would make it a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, the thing that would annoy me is if they were just copies because it's like the Soul Calibur situation. It's like, you know, if you can make such, like, other creative things, it's like, why would you want to use that character instead of just the moveset, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're See, right. what what really hits home for me uh, with Mies being playable is look at how many games Mies have been in in the past decade alone. I think I calculated the other day they've made appearance in over 100 titles so far. And that's just uh, behind Mario. Mario, I think, is just a little over 200 uh, unique titles that he's been in. So yeah, they and are my, important. Mario's been around for three decades now. So we... With Miis, I feel that Nintendo, they just kind of have to represent them, just the fact that they're in everything else. And we already have seen them in the newest direct that they're representing the online mode, but... Yeah, well, that's a, that's a, that's a good point, yeah, because, the, you know, Smash is about representing all kinds and all parts of some, uh, Nintendo's history. And, you know, uh, um, my thing about Miis is, what if Nintendo ever decides to drop them and move to a different avatar type like Reggie. Thing. They yeah. drop Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> Sorry, Reggie. I mean, You're I can, going I away. I then I mean, then you know, I mean, you could just replace the Mies with that avatar, but like, there's always that the chance of that happening, which I, makes Mies very probable for cuts. I, I guess. I don't think Mies will get replaced. I think they might get. Upgraded enhanced. in the future, yeah, 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 with a lot more yeah. options, especially since we have seen in um, the DS, um, especially with the uh, Find Me, we've seen all the hats, the Mario hats, the Zelda hats, all that. So we might be seeing we had, um, more photo realistic me's. Oh, yeah. God. Well, I mean, there is that feature, you know, snap a picture of you, despite how like inaccurate it might be. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, should we like kind of move on a little bit more because we're kind of laying on me's a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> <Lay off. laughs> too much. Too much for me. Hoy hoy hoy. Well, I mean, just like in general, like because the initial prediction was only half right. Like, how accurate would you honestly judge that? The fact that he got two um, obscure characters, one being Wii Fit Trainer. I would not that- consider Villager obscure. Yeah, I, I mean, he was often requested, and so was yeah. Mega Man. So, I mean, like, the only one that's kind of weird on there is Wii Fit, which also had, like, you know, the number one selling franchise on the Wii, so. See, Villager wasn't upscare back in the Brawl days, but from what I understand, Sakurai shot the Villager down, and... He was still commonly requested afterwards, though. Yeah. He, he definitely had a much bigger, um, community, or, like, just fan uh group back then that wanted him um compared to pre e3 for this game but the fact that he got that character and we fit trainer and of course mega man all in together i think that that leads to a lot of credibility and then the fact that we we got little mac confirmed so that's four out of six confirmed and then Mies and pac-man they have a pretty decent shot of being playable yeah, so, I'm just saying, like, also, would it have changed your opinion at all if we would have gotten uh, Pac-Man, uh, Villager, and Little Mac during E3 instead of the ones that we got? I don't like, think with, so. Is, is with long the as prediction it came, still holding. As long as it came from that initial source and it proved correct and those characters got announced, I think that it would still have credibility today. And then, of course, that could um, possibly have changed who we got later on to announce. I mean, we could have had um, not gotten Rosalina and gotten someone else in that event. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's also like, despite how predictable the characters are anyway, or like how often people might think they are predictable and stuff, it's still like the fact of, you know, they had guessed, if they are all revealed, they had guessed like all of them, you know, yeah. together coherently. So, yeah. yeah. So, so I overall, think that would be everyone. Round. Yeah. But yeah, everyone. Do you guys think that the original six characters that were leaked? Do you think that they're no. legitimate? <laughs> yes. Uh, it's kind of like to me. I'm always indecisive about this kind of stuff because I thought Little Mac was predictable, but you know, 
me and Pac-Man are probably gonna happen anyway, regardless, so. I still don't know, like, too much. Like, I, I mean, I know we have, like, the new Namco, like, assist trophies, like, Galaga and stuff, and that kind of, you know, hints a little bit more towards Pac-Man, even if it could be just, like, a small nod to Namco developing, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just, I just, I don't know. It just like all signs kind of point towards both those characters. Uh, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I think, um, I, uh, I think actually that 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 the Namco item, while that is cool, like I can imagine a world in which Super Smash Bros. 4 only had a Namco item and didn't have Pac-Man. Like I feel like that's just as likely. But, yeah, um, I mean, it's so possible. See that happening. But at the same time, I feel like it's a, it's it's like a really good, uh, like it, it's like our uh, Viridi screenshot to our Palutena almost, you know, like we're just seeing that before we actually get the character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I feel like if we got the item and not the character, it would be kind of a cop out. I mean, you know, like it, mostly because it's a third party franchise. If we got an item from a first party franchise, but we didn't have a character, that'd be fine. But since it's a third party company franchise, whatever, I feel like that's a cop out. So I feel like that item definitely lends in Pac Man's favor. If not Pac Man, then a Namco rep in general. Well, uh, yeah. all I can say is that pretend we have the ability to just. Like go go to like Sakurai's house and take the game and look through all the items that are that are planned. If there isn't going to be a Pac-Man like Namco item, then that means he is in, you know, because he is like the biggest thing about Namco. But if he's not gonna be an item, it's because he's probably a character, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, like the thing about Pac-Man is they could still have like items or assist trophies, like uh. The ghost for Pac-Man, but just the fact that it's like a classic, like kind of random franchise, like from around when Pac-Man was there, you know, like it's different than if we were to get some kind of other assist trophy from Namco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to the second part now. We kind of dragged that out. Yeah. It's, it's, well, I mean, we got a lot of in-depth analysis. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In-depth so, for a six character document <laughs> yeah six we always provide we're the most in-depth next anyway. next now the next part of the story this is where for me it got really interesting because this part came out the day of the nintendo direct a few hours beforehand now i remember we were all together we we're all talking we we were like oh hey did you hear about the new gamatsu league and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool, but I'll look at it afterwards because I I was just too hyped for the direct. And then we get the direct, and we get Greninja out of it. So then the first thing that I think, I'm like, okay, let's see what was on this Gamatsu League. And among these characters were Palutena, Krom, Shulk, Chorus Men, and a character from Pokemon X and Y. Well, not a character. He said Pokemon from X and Y. I think he said character. No, 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 no it, it said Pokemon. Are you sure it wasn't just like a X and Y from Pokemon? Yeah, of course, because yeah. the the let like the, the logos. Chromosomes. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a woman playable, or no, a man. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> a anyways, so anyway. as soon as I saw that Pokemon X Y rep listed. I'm like, this guy just hit it dead, just hit the nail dead on, because, I mean, to me, before the Nintendo Direct, I did not think that we were getting in Pokemon from X, or Pokemon from uh, Gen 6 other than a Mega Evolution. Yeah. And as soon as I saw that, I'm like, okay, that, that to me, that was just such a long shot to me, and then to actually get that. I think, to me, I think that alone seals the deal for me in believing well, this. Well, you know, still, it would have sealed the deal for me, but only if you would have said Greninja. Because yeah. I still don't see why, like, you could, like, there, you could have easily found out it was Greninja just by searching, like, Pokemon Ninja Frog, or, like, Greninja's, like, the first thing that comes up. Yes. Now, here's a debate, though, that we can, um, figure out. 
because back at E3 when the tips are originally um, leaked all that information it's possible that he knew of these follow-up characters at that time he just didn't um, relay the information to uh, Sal and at that point Pokemon X and Y was not released and we didn't yeah. even know about Greninja at that point I don't think we knew about Greninja until the game came out um, excluding the leaks that happened, I think, a week or two beforehand. Mm -hmm. Even still, though, it could be entirely possible that this guy, this leaker... Placeholder? Yeah, this this guy knew of who was planned on the roster. He just didn't know exactly which Pokemon was going to be chosen because it's possible that Game Freak had to kind of wait and see which Pokemon they wanted to see and see if uh, Greninja would be popular enough to choose. That is always a possibility. I mean, it's not too far out there, but it's still weird that that person would wait until now to reveal that, and then, like, it's still as unspecific as it is, you know? I, d I just gotta say that compared to his, like, previous predictions, saying Pokemon from X and Y definitely is less impressive. Yeah, I mean, like, if he straight up said, like, Greninja, then I would believe it, like, mm -hmm. no now, holds, I mean. Now, two other things, though, to point out. I'm, I'm sure there's a handful of Nintendo fans that, if they see a character like Mario, Zelda, even Pit, they can automatically tell you the names of them. But not everyone's going to know the name of every single Pokemon. So it's possible well, he did. I, I, hey. I, I beg to disagree. Well, hey, like I said before, I mean, if just searching Pokemon Ninja Frog, like Greninja comes up, like one of the first things, and he could easily see that it was Greninja. So if he really wanted to be like very factual and accurate, then he would have looked it up somewhat or done some research into what it's called. You know. And the next thing that can go with this is... Just the fact that, like, who could who could have actually been playable from X and Y? Uh, uh, Different yeah. Pokemon. Age Slash. <laughs> just, just like what it could have been any of the starters. Honestly, the, 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 I mean the, the, the dirty ass rabbit. Dirty yeah. ass rabbit. The Delphi. Oh, like, the other two like starters weren't like that cool when they fully evolved. I mean, I thought they. Probably knew Greninja was one of the most popular from the get-go, even when I it wasn't like released. They, I feel like they designed him to be the yeah. popular one. It's like, yeah. you know, when you make, like, art, you know, and you're drawing, and then you make this, like, really good design, you just know it's gonna be, like, the best thing ever, <laughs> so. Yeah. But, coming from the leaker's standpoint, there was not many characters to pull from who could have potentially been playable. The only characters I thought would have been... Halucha or Greninja? Gudra. Well, I don't really see, like, Gudra is really popular. I mean, but just based on popularity really doesn't do it. I mean, usually the Pokemon picked has something to do with some kind of, like, movie or anime thing or, you know, something like that. Or it's just, like, important in some regard to the series. Yeah. Like, if Halucha was, like, the star of a movie, then I could see that happening. Or if he was just, like, really prevalent in, like, the anime. Like, he's kind of uh, like the Meowth or something. Pokemon Lucho Wrestling. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of different possibilities. Oh, my God! Um, I just want to point out that in our Pokeball predictions, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we did, in fact, yeah. think that uh, oh, yeah. Greninja and Halucha would be Pokeballs. But we did not even come close to thinking that they would be characters. Well, yeah. just Greninja. Right. You're the only one who said that. Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to like lay the blame. He's actually going to be in, though, in some way. Yeah. Just because you're the only one who said it doesn't mean you're the only one who thought it. Yeah. Now let's let's continue on. <laughs> derp, derp. Yeah, but I mean. The, the only thing that like, bugs me about this part is, like, aside from Chorus Men, like, everything else is, like, pretty predictable. I mean, maybe not... Po like, Pokemon from X and Y could even be predictable to other people, like... Yeah, you know, yeah. usually Game I Freak gets a new Pokemon. Like, it could have... What if it was a Mega Evolution, you know? Like, what if it was Mega Mewtwo? Would it have counted as a Pokemon from X and Y? Yeah. Maybe. 
Like, there are a yeah. lot of different options there. Yeah, that's a bit of a fuzzy area, but the fact that Greninja uh, was just originated game. from X and Y, whereas Mewtwo originated from Gen 1, I think that that kind of... I mean, like, the Mega Evolutions themselves did originate in X and Y, so... I, I think we also Which, have to look at this in a different perspective, though. Because we're talking about how predictable um, many of his uh, predictions were. But at the same yeah. time, think about think about what this guy is doing. Like, if, 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 he's, if he's a fake, he wants people to believe him. So he's going to try to make it as convincing by putting things that yeah. people don't think... And also putting and things then that people it. do expect, right? Well, yeah. I mean, that's what, like, every leaker tries to, like, pad with information that's believable. And then, like, they try to, oh, here's, like, that unusual character, you know, that kind of, it's not totally predictable. And everyone kind of buys it at that point. Right. So, I, I, I just want to, like, this is up for debate, of course. But um, with the chorus man, in my opinion, I feel like that's almost suicide because there's nothing. That yeah. Would ever make you think that they would be in there? So this guy either really wants to end his fake leak career, <laughs> or he's onto something. Like, I mean, I would just wonder how you come to the assumption that it would be chorus men. I mean, at least with We Fit Trainer, you could look at uh, sales and be like, oh, this is the number one selling. But I don't know of it. Like, is that game really that high selling? Or nope. Is it it's, really like that popular? It's, it's just it's popular, but it's not like really high grossing or anything. It's well, I mean, just I like it. that I obscure like choice it. that Sakurai always yeah. finds a way to make I work mean, and find make people find engaging. Yeah. I could see like the appeal and the fact that you know it's kind of a niche game where it's based on rhythm, kind of like Patapon and stuff. Oh, oh, and Sakurai oh, could see like potential in a rhythm based move set. Because he said that he was looking for people based on, like, their moveset potential this time around. Or at mm -hmm. least that, like, his choices weren't random. He was actually looking at unique features of characters. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, with the Chorus Men, do you think that they're going to actually be three of them playable? Yes. Uh, like, it's kind of a weird... I, 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 think I feel there's like no, there's nothing that would, that would like, can con con contradict that. Because we already, we already have, um... Olimar and Pikmin, which I guess would be the most models per character. I feel like it'll be kind of Ice Climbers-ish, but different, where you control one main one and the other two follow you around. Yeah, but maybe it's based around like rhythm and how they I, follow you and stuff. I, you know? Like with Ice Climbers, Nana does copy your movements, but with these ones, I feel like they'll just kind of do their own thing while you well, attack. Like, what if they attacked in, like, kind of a rhythmic fashion, you know, like, you press a button, then the other two, like, attack, like, it's kind of like a three-beat, uh, you know, kind of thing going on, so. Yeah, like, yeah. A, you jab, one of them punches, yeah. and the other, then the other. Yeah, there like, punch, 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 kick, you know, they do kind of, like, a rhythm-based moveset where, like, they follow up each other's moves. Let, let press, me, let me, let me, press uh, A once, and you get a instant combo. I, I, I want to pitch a play style real quick. Um, so, of course, we have the Ice Climbers, which is like, you know, someone that follows you around and basically mimics your movements or whatever. <laughs> and then we have the Pikmin, which, and, you know, Olimar just kind of commands them to do their things. And if he wants to do so, he can attack on his own. But I think... That With, like, six attacks. But I think the Chorus Men, I, I almost see them working as, like, a... Almost like a like a cheerleader formation or something, as in like it breaks. Will they cheer form human pyramids? I think you mean I think you mean cheer reader. No no no. Like oh, like, so like for example like if you want to do like a down hey, get a, it? a down smash with them, I can see like maybe like the first and the third one doing attacks to either side, but like the middle one just like like not doing anything. Maybe like just, just kind of standing there. Yeah. So with like, a I can see that. derpy ass look on his face. Maybe. Like, and, right. I, and also, I can I can see like it, it like for his A combo. What if like they like what if like uh, instead of having one chorus guy like hit three times, what if it's like the first one hits, then the second one comes in, and then the third one comes in. So it's kind of like like a, like a team almost, and, as opposed to. So if they're cheerleaders. Would they be standing on each other's shoulders? I feel like that, oh could, be, that could be a thing for like they could an form up. pyramids. But what if that's like for an up tilt or something? Or like just a special move, like you press down special, something yeah. they get on each other's soldiers. 
soldiers. Soldiers. Soldiers. Soldiers. Soldiers. Soldiers. You know, pirates. So, the, I mean, I think that that, that could work, because honestly, like, it'd be awesome, but I don't really see the rhythm thing working in this game. Because, like, yeah, well, uh, I wouldn't doubt that just yet, because you never know. I feel like they could be a rhythm based move, you know, kind of like, uh, no, it doesn't have to be just a final smash, but it can, you know, maybe like his <laughs> neutral special has something rhythm based, but I really don't think his entire gimmick is going to be rhythm. <laughs> I feel like one thing this is gonna be like fuel for a quote later. I kind of feel it in the making. Yeah, <laughs> David quoted. I really don't feel like his entire gimmick is gonna be rhythm, and then it's like just gonna purely be that. Yeah, David, you should probably stop making guesses because usually when you do, we quote you on it later when it turns out wrong. Okay, so like what I was saying was like one thing that this... they could do for like move sets is like reference the other like mini games like in the rhythm heaven games. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like pull out lobsters from, like, or... uh, cheerleaders, <laughs> one attack can be from hole in one, stuff like that. They'll be like, bum 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 bum, and then hit a, a shuttlecock across the stage. So what? A, a I shuttle... think that is a really good idea, though, to represent the entire series in one set of characters. They'll, they'll, they'll do like the flamingo game, like, and then like crouch over. You know, actually, I, I, I want to I want to clarify something so that I don't get mis mm -hmm. like, like, like shut down later. Interpreted on. or yeah. So like, okay, so it's clear that I I don't think they'll be completely based about rhythm, right? But um, I think something that they could do, like I said, like maybe having some moves that are rhythm based. What if they had like, like moves that, like basically when you execute them, like it plays like a certain tune. And the attacks yeah. just follow like the rhythm to the tune, you know? Like that bum exactly. bum bum bum, it would be like one, two, three, four hits. Bum 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 bum. There you go. Like four hits yeah. into that rhythm. Not that you have to control the rhythm or be like and following so, like, the rhythm. Just you know, it'll be like three weaker hits and then one stronger hit on the bum. Yeah, sure. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. It depends on like what kind of uh God damn it, I can't I can't remember my musical terms right now for some reason, but it depends on like how many beats per rhythm they're trying to do. Beats per measure. Yeah. Beats per measure, yeah. Okay. Like, if, are they going for three beats per measure, you know, like with three chorus men, or they can have like four, actually? Maybe like his down special will be changing, will be changing, uh... Yeah, changing beats per measure. Yeah. That'd be interesting. <laughs> so, a popular theory that a lot of fans have had, what if these chorus men were mistaken for Marshall in some form or another. I feel <sighs> like that would be less interesting than having the three of them. Yeah, but it but it could still work. What if you had two of them and one of them was Marshall? Well, at the same time, so Marshall was how do, like how do, the leader. How do, how, do you how do you confuse three people with one? Yeah. It just look like three people at once, David. Yeah, does the guy have like eyesight issues and he's like Pokemon from X and Y, I can't see what it is. He was he was drunk and saw three of them. Yeah. He was like, oh <laughs> He just assumed it was this one. His eyesight's all blurred and shit. He's like Animal Crossing thing, I think. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is that? We fit trainer, oh my god. We fit. <laughs> I hear her talking about working out. He sees Rosalina. Oh that's Crom. Yeah, it's Crom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's just bottle. peach isn't it yeah i guess i heard some people say like oh well what if you're just like confusing rosalina for like peach or some shit i'm like really <laughs> i would hope not because i feel like even people that aren't into video games should know that yeah i mean she has a wand and shit like if they see her moving around like that then they can assume that it's not peach at that it's point just emo peach she just has hair over her eye <laughs> <laughs> but she's not wearing dark enough colors you know, they they have palette swaps suit. Also, she doesn't have her cat suit on, and that's what oh, she yeah, needs her yeah. cat that, That's what she okay. needs. So, like, just about, like, the legitimacy of the second part, like, what do you guys feel? Like, where do you think it stands in, like, like, the one, second one? I feel like if we see a like man, the, then I'll believe it. Fully. I feel like uh, the, first, the first batch of characters is much more solid than this one. Yeah, it's, it's not really to true. Di not to discredit this one, but this one is much you know, more this, interesting. This yes, this one does have a more interesting array of characters. Well, and... I mean, compared to Mega Man, and... 
com well, compared yeah. to me. I mean, well, Palatine is I, on I, there. I would, That's I, would like to point, I would like to point out that I don't think we mentioned him, but he, he did in fact say that Krom was going to be one of the characters as well, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. But so. I mean, like, that's kind of like the same thing with Palatina. It's like he's very highly, uh, just like Requested. he's just expected at this point. You know, yeah. like, people think he's going to be in like undoubtedly, just like even, Palatina. Even if this leak isn't true, I'm pretty confident Palutena and Krom are going to happen regardless. Yeah. And the if uh, Shulk and Chorus Men don't happen, that's still three for five of this new leak. I would still love that. I, I, I honestly hope Shulk and Chorus Men happen at this point. I mean, I think yeah. they would be very interesting. Over time, yeah. I have hyped myself up for the Chorus Men. I, mean, I, was, I was instant hyped for them because... I was like, oh God, eh, really? But now I'm just like, oh... Yeah, because, well, I mean, I, I'm i a Rhythm Heaven fan. I want a Rhythm Heaven rep. Are you only a fan oh, after that supposed no, leak? No, or? no, no I, I was mean, before. I haven't played the games, but I'm still a fan. I played okay, the DS one sure. and the Wii one. That really makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I don't. That doesn't make sense at all, really. <laughs> Maybe he likes uh, it for the music. You don't know. I've watched playthroughs of Rhythm Heaven, but you I'm know. a fan of the music. <laughs> yeah, you can say that, maybe. Yeah. 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 Like, it's got sick beats. <laughs> it's got hey, sick one beats. Thing, one thing with Shulk, uh, I want to kind of go back with. Um, remember a while ago, Sakurai posted. The picture of that Bonato. Yeah. yeah. The Bonato. We had that. The Bonato. And I don't think that's a hint at anything. I don't think, you know, Sakurai explicitly said, don't take anything I say on Twitter as a hint. Towards I that. know that, but we have that. And then we have that, I, I forget exactly what it was, but it was someone related to uh, Xenoblade. And they said that they're excited for the new Smash Brothers game. And then, like afterwards, they did clarify, or I think like someone else clarified yeah, she, she that they were just said, like generally oh, I, excited. I, I just yeah, um, but I, I don't she really, I don't necessarily up, you know? I don't necessarily think that these things are in Shulk's favor, but I still feel that Shulk is pretty likely. Yeah, is that what she said? No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, just like one more thing to add, real quick, is that one thing that makes me happy about the chorus men is that we'll finally get rhythm having music in Smash. Yes. That yes. is At the very least, we need a stage that is like the WarioWare stage, and you can perform some of the mini games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it's also kind of weird because obviously these characters aren't like going to be all of the characters in the game because the, the guy didn't like show off Rosalina, so it's like he's not showing off all of the characters. Which in turn gives me even more hope for King K. Rule. Yeah, I think. This I mean, there still could be like, people. yeah, like one or two or. So more people, maybe you never know. Yes, that's Twenty, right about all Twenty the more. Twenty more. All the characters. All the I mean, at this point, there would be more. thirteen, and thirteen is kind of like a good number. So I don't. There could it's not, not be any more. It's an unlucky number. Thirteen. Okay, well, fourteen. Thirteen is an unlucky number. I guess. Yeah. Don't you? <laughs> I know Friday the 13th, but like I usually look yeah, at it as like yeah. a. It's, 13 not that... <laughs> it's 13 my lucky number, though. It's unlucky. Okay, whatever you say. Okay, I so. Um, I think. Do you think we're done here? Think. Do we have I anything th else we want to add to this? Um. Yeah, just give some closing thoughts, I think. Hmm? Some give some closing thoughts. Uh, you know, I feel like this one has a pretty... It's its still alive. Nothing has killed it yet. It has yeah. a fairly good chance of being true. And I would be... honest. I would honestly be fine with all of these newcomers. So would okay. I. So, like, okay, except how about we just go through I would love this hey. roster if it's true. Would you guys like to go through really fast and just do, like, a maybe a scale, like, 1 to 10 on how much you believe this? Uh, sure. Sure. If you want to, <laughs> just, sure, sure. just for reference, okay. I'll give it a seven. Believability seven, okay. Yeah, I say I think eight. Best. Eight. eight for Solus. Yeah, but then once uh, Chorus Men are confirmed, then eleven. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's like the general consensus is if Chorus Men were revealed or like one of those guys or something, like we just believe it. Like, yeah. <laughs> it would be yeah. pretty undoubtable at that point. I mean, it's like Chorus Men, like really, like come on. Yeah. yeah. Um, in my case, 
I would also say 7, maybe even uh, 6.5, but how fine would I be with it? 10. I think I'm totally on board. Yeah. Like, I'm, I, I want yeah. almost, I pretty much want these characters. I, I want them all, except for me. Oh, you I don't, don't want to be in Smash Bros? You don't want to no, be in Smash Bros? I, mean, I, I want to <laughs> be Ganondorf's alternate costume, but other than oh. that. Oh, God. Well, Jeez. like, I'm kind of with David on this one. Like, I feel the same way, like, 7, maybe 6.5. But yeah. I would be fine with everyone here. Like, I think that would be nice. See, I'm the optimist here, and I'm leaning 9, 9.5 and above. Holy just because, crap, isn't it? Just because <laughs> I'm, I'm very confident in this at this point. Because so far, yeah. he's accounted for 5 out of the 11 characters that he leaked. Yeah, I think that things are looking really good in his favor. However, I still think that there are more unaccounted for newcomers. Hit Possibly. Ridley, K. Rule, maybe a new version of Mewtwo. Ridley is deconfirmed. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> wait, he hasn't been already. No, we can save that for another debate. <laughs> oh god, yeah, we can actually make a whole podcast on that if you guys want. I'm yeah. talking to you fans. <laughs> yeah, tell us, tell us if you want us to talk about Ridley or if you think that's a closed book. Yeah, I mean, do, would you want us to elaborate our thoughts or do you just think it's over at this point? Yeah. But yeah, right. I mean, like, I mean, it's not like unreasonable to say it's completely true. Like, just for me personally, I'd like to wait. And because, I mean, with the more information revealed, like, just the more likely it would be. So. I mean, yeah. but, like, the thing that would do it for me is if at least one of his six, like, predictions was fully accounted for. So, because that's the main deterrent, in my opinion, on it, so. Yeah. All right, well, I think that wraps up our discussion for today. So, thank you very much. Remember to hey, like, like, comment, comment subscribe, <laughs> Twitter, yeah. Facebook, Google+, Plus. I just Bro, knocked off my headphones. Circle circles yeah <laughs> not really and send us fan mail and fan yeah, yeah. Um, so that we can yeah we can play just, just send us all your copies of earthbound and we would gladly stream them uh okay. draw draw rule 34 of us um rule 34 yeah great yeah, we appreciate it. oh god <laughs> we will read fan fictions oh just, oh my god like just so you know should... i'm not down with any of this yes you are you, you, you are. don't want to read fanfic okay i think reading fan fictions would be like the best thing that we could ever do like if someone literally like made like scripts for us to read well, I, <laughs> like a fan to voice them, yeah yeah you oh you don't want to actually reenact them come on man <laughs> well, we'll <laughs> film let's, ourselves let's, let's, yeah let's meet up reenact it sleep over at nico's <laughs> yeah sleep over at nico's weekend, weekend at nico's okay all right so until next time Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. 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 I love you. I don't. Have a wonderful time. <laughs>